Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the first video, the first running video of the Traxxas XRT. Guys, I'm so excited. It's actually been like three days since I've had this. The weather has just not been good. So I've been kind of just waiting for things to get nice. Anyways guys, here we go. First time touching it. Oh, that sounded wrong. The servo isn't bad. It definitely doesn't like on any kind of throttle steering. You can almost see the tires kind of pushing out there. But it goes pretty good. That's full pin, guys. <laughs> so that was full throttle pin. We're not getting any wheelies. These tires are very forgiving. Um, again, guys, that's full trigger, full trigger, full trigger. <laughs> okay. Yeah, these tires are not hooking up at all. Here we go. From a standstill. Oh, we got a little wheelie there. You know what? Let's try this first. These tires are very, very loose. It doesn't sound right either. But it actually, guys, surprisingly doesn't feel all that bad. Okay, that was nice. Being that the tires pretty much have zero traction, you're not getting like a lot of rollover or anything. All right, you know what guys, for stock gearing right now, it's, it, you know what, it's not all that bad. Um, I did forget to mention guys, I am on my TQI, uh, the one that came with my TRX4, so it's got the Bluetooth link in it. And uh, I could not update. I tried probably guys like six or seven times this morning. I was up early and it just failed every single time. It actually didn't tell me it failed. It told me it had finished, but then there was like a little balloon over that telling me to update the receiver. And uh, yeah, it just never took. Unfortunately, it would actually say finishing things up and then not. All right, I'm, it doesn't feel all that bad. Let's get in here. I'm gonna try and take a couple of slightly bigger jumps. Even though from what I've seen, it doesn't want to correct with these tires all that great in the air. Okay, that, that jumps pretty nice, guys. Okay, there's some recovery there. From some of the videos I watched, I don't know if it's just because of the incline I have the ramp on, but I'm able to do something. All right, let's see if we can hit this a little harder. Oh, ramp shaver. See what we do this time. Not bad. Okay guys, this thing jumps pretty nice. Um, yeah, it could definitely use some a little bit more power and stuff like that and it, I could use a bigger ramp But surprisingly it, it, Yeah, it feels pretty good Ooh. 
Oh, geez. That didn't work out the way I thought it was going to. But things, guys, do seem to be pretty good. I'm gonna turn the TSM down. Oh, wait. I'm gonna check that one tire. No, guys, we're good. This thing survived. It's first, not very nice landing. The tires let you just pin the trigger all the time. Full throttle, guys. That's moving pretty good. <laughs> yeah. You can see where this is definitely gonna benefit from a better tire with a little bit more weight, a little bit more mass. But these tires are actually guys a lot of fun for being out here because you can really throw it around. Like that's full trigger guys. Do that with a set of six packs, you're going over. That's full. <laughs> oh, that's fun. All right, guys, I'm liking this thing. You can kind of, I would say, run into a cone. Um, you can feel the weight difference from other trucks like this. That's for sure. Because this thing moves really nice. There's like a little bit of control there, enough to just kind of do some little correction and that's about it. But enough that I can take guys, use my ramp the way it's set up right now and throw this thing around. The ramp is at the same setting as it was last weekend with the uh, Creighton 8S and the X-Max. Nice. <laughs> yeah. That is a lot of full throttle not even blips guys, like I'm talking holding the throttle. That's full throttle right there and no TSM either. Oh yes, that is really freaking nice. There's a pole.
Oh, I think I should have tried for a backflip there. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, I'm. <laughs> I hope this means a lot coming from a guy who hated on the sledge so much for being just crazy nasty out of the box and having it cost a lot of money. But this thing is really nice. Like, really nice. It feels so friggin' good. It, it's probably the closest to, here, I, mean, I gotta stop talking, I gotta concentrate here for a second. The closest to a 1 8 scale feeling, larger scale truck that I've ever driven. And I love guys, my other trucks, but this thing feels really good. Ugh, I want to try backflipping guys so bad. I just don't want to have it go bad and break it Because it doesn't have that quick response right now that I would with different gearing or uh, just better tires <laughs> Yeah And I'm trying guys very hard not to land under any throttle at all so sometimes you know you're kind of coming around for that last little bit of correction and you know you're on the throttle to try to pull it over. I don't want to do that with the pinion and mesh in this thing, with the pinion and spur, just because I know how it'll go. Oh, that is wicked. So friggin' nice. I wonder how many times I've said nice. Oh, I think we just lost a battery connector. Or a motor wire, one or the other. battery and a motor. So plug this back in first. All right guys, while we're here, you see, eh, it's warm, but that's about it. All right, I didn't bring a temp gun, but guys, this is stock gearing. Top of the heat sink, I can put my hand on, it's fine. But down here, that is really friggin' hot. Like, not... Duh, yeah, that's about it. And I can't get under the motor. And back, yeah. Guys, that is really hot. Um, really hot. And remember, this is stock gearing. So, you know what? I'm... Uh, I don't know what I think about that. I mean, again, guys, I didn't bring a temp gun. I can't give you guys an accurate temperature, but, and I mean, I know this is the heat sink also. Well, I can put my finger there for a bit, but it is hot. So I don't know, guys, I think what I'm going to do next, I don't know if I mentioned this guys in the unboxing is I am going to replace the spur. I'm going to go to the 46 tooth spur, but I am going to leave the stock 20 tooth pinion. I'm not going to change that. And I'll keep kind of rolling into it because you know what? We're out here right now, guys. It's a nice day, but it's maybe like 
13 or 14 degrees Celsius, so it's by no means hot. And like I said, there's some pretty good heat going on. That's hot on the fingers. Eh, we'll give it a couple of minutes, but guys, but we're gonna get back out. All right, guys, I meant though what I said. This thing is driving really friggin' nice. Like, I mean, really nice. I'm very impressed. This is as close to an eight scale feeling large six scale as I've ever had. Huh, you started to do pretty good in the grass. Pretty sure I said I was gonna let this thing cool down a bit. But again, it's not guys like, I could leave my finger on it for a bit. And again, I'm old, so I'm old school. And I judge my temps that way. Surprised at these tires in the grass though. Let's try this again. <laughs> eh, not bad, not bad at all. Another thing guys though I am gonna do, hopefully I remember, is when I get home and I'm kind of wrapping up the video, I want to check how my pinion and spur look. I did check that before I came out this morning, like this morning when I was working on the receiver and stuff like that. And it was pretty hot guys, or sorry, pretty hot. It was pretty snug, more than I would have liked. And again, that's using the pins. So yeah. Let's face it guys, once this thing gets hot, that metal is going to expand a bit and make it even tighter. And yeah, that's not going to be good. <laughs> All right, I got to get some speed to try this. Just ate a couple of rocks. Nice. Guys, I'm really liking this truck and it's a little bit painful for me to say that. Oh geez, <laughs> that wasn't good. It's, uh, you know what guys, stock gearing, it feels actually really good. I'm, you know, from a lot of the videos I watched, I didn't expect this at all. And right now guys, this thing is performing pretty good. And like I said, I'm gonna change the, just the spur and we'll go from there, but I don't see myself going right up to that 23 tooth uh, pinion. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we just lost something else here. Either a motor wire, because my steering is still working. Because I can see the ESC LED, it's still on, so I'm pretty sure, guys, I think it's a motor wire. I wonder if it's that center one again. Nope. All right, we've got a red LED. I actually don't know what that means. Does it mean thermal? All right, let's see what happens if we unplug. Give it a second. These are all good. These are all good. Everything is good, the batteries. All right, let's plug this thing in and really hope that we don't get a red light. Because as far as I know, I think it's a whole bunch of flashing red lights you get when things go bad. Come on. Okay, uh, we didn't kill anything, so that's good. I'm gonna look up guys at the end of this video to find out what that one red light, red LED meant. I think it was in the middle. But what I'm gonna do now guys is just bring it up to the car, let it cool down a little bit, and then we'll get running again.
Oh, guys. Can you see that? <laughs> I don't know. Let me know right now, guys, in the comments if you can. I'll bring it back one more time. We'll have to take a hammer to that. Oh, you know what, guys? Maybe LVC. Look at that. Maybe that's what that was. All right, guys, we're going to head home. And we're going to go through this thing, find out what I did. Find out what's going on. Yeah, that red LED is on again. So we'll see if that's LVC. Maybe that's what it is, I think. Now that I think about it, Traxxas has a higher... I think they're like 3.7 or 3.8 or something like that. So we'll check that. But we'll go over the, the, tr the truck guys in general. See how everything is. See if it's all together. And uh, yeah, we're going to have to pull that rear dog bone. Anyways, guys, see you at home. All right, guys, we're home. We've got the truck back on the bench now. Usually, guys, when I get home, I will clean the truck. I'll import all my footage. I'll start kind of watching it. And then I will come down and kind of end the video. But for this video, guys, and today, I just wanted to immediately keep the pump, keep the excitement that I have, and transfer that to the end of this video. Because all I've done so far, guys, is turned it upside down, got a big pile of dirt right there, swept it up, and I got the truck back on the bench. Now, for those that don't know, because I didn't, that middle blinking, that middle red light, the solid red light, sorry, was LVC. So the first time it hit, that's what it was. It wasn't a temp, it was actually LVC, so I should have stopped running then and there. I didn't drive much after that, so all is good. Now, guys, I'm going to touch on two things. First is my concern. The truck was warm. It was hot. The motor itself, guys, was pretty hot. I could barely hold my finger on it. The ESC had some warmth. But not only that, guys, my red lines, which usually don't even break a sweat, these are still warm. And it's, you know, let's say five, ten minutes later, guys, they're still warm. So these guys themselves, which are beasts of lipos, okay, 130C discharge rate, were warm. Like, not hot, but warm. And again, they usually don't even get warm. So I would say, guys, at this point now, that I'm going to change the spur. Before I go out next, I will change the spur, but I'm going to stick with the stock 20 tooth pinion and see how it goes. It is only, I think it was about, I think when I came home, it was 14.5 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but it's not hot out there. And again, guys, I was getting some good temps and I'm not one to strain a system to the point that it has to, you know, get in a few degrees of where it shouldn't be. I'm not that kind of guy. I like to keep my things running well. I like to give them some, you know, longevity so they stick around. Overall, though, that VXL 8S and the motor actually, guys, feel really good. I didn't do anything crazy. I didn't do any backflips or anything like that. And I, I, I don't have, guys, any parts for this truck. I have quite a bit for my X Max, but I don't have anything that would transfer over into the Wide Max. Uh, so if I was to break an arm or something like that, guys, I can't replace that right away. I'd have to order them. And I do really, guys, want to keep this truck up and running. It's finally the weekend. I'd like to get out with it a few times. But that, guys, is my concern. There was some temps there. Now, to be fair, because of these tires and the dirt I was on, I was full throttle pinning, guys, a lot. I mentioned it a couple times in the video. I was full trigger a lot. So that is obviously, guys, going to make that worse. It's going to bring on the heat even more. So I think if I was on a different set of tires where I couldn't keep driving the truck that way, where it would just flip over and go all crazy, maybe my temps won't be so bad. So for the next video, I will have the Duratrax six packs on it, as well as guys, I'm going to drop in that 46 tooth spur. And I'm thinking guys, I may even do a video before that running video, because I'll probably do the shock caps and the hexes and maybe the motor uh, mount washers as well. But guys, the good news, and that's not even really guys all that bad news. The good news is unless we start having those nasty Traxxas metal issues, which can creep up on us. But if we don't, and based on just driving fun, this thing is, oh man, you guys have no idea how much I freaking hate saying this. All right, I had to interrupt myself there because I forgot and it dawned on me guys as I was putting together the video that I wanted to show you guys the pinion and spur. And guys, overall, it... Uh, it looks pretty good. You can see there's not a lot of, uh, I usually like a little bit more than that. I like a little bit more rocking than that. But the, like even right there guys, now I understand just because it's kind of really under a little bit of load, but not much. 
I don't know why my finger is so black. I don't know if that's like little bits of metal shavings. I have no idea that are coming off this because I wouldn't think guys there'd be any grease or at least there doesn't look like there's any kind of grease or anything on here. So I don't know, maybe there's like a coating on it or something like that and that's what's on my finger. Because I love my other trucks. But this thing, guys, was a blast. It feels so friggin' good. It feels, and I, I'm pretty sure, guys, I mentioned it a couple times in the video, it is the closest to driving a large eight scale, if that makes any sense. It feels that good. And surprisingly, guys, the tires, you know, yeah, they don't hook up the greatest. Surprisingly, they hooked up okay in the grass, but they're a lot of fun. They really allow you to throw this truck around. And I think if I wasn't deliberately driving it like an ass the way I was today, just trying to push it to its limits and see what it could do, I maybe my attempts would have been a little bit better and, and everything, guys, overall would have been fine as well. Uh, with regards, guys, to the one drive shaft. So if you missed that, when I was driving the truck away, let's see if I can get this set up. This guy right there. <laughs> Look at that. Holy man. Yeah, let's see if I can do that better. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's pretty good, guys. Um, yeah, we're going to have to pull that and try to hammer that out a little bit. It did stay, guys, the truck stayed running and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, I definitely, guys, going to have to fix that. Guys, I'm pumped. I am really, really excited about this truck. You know, it took me, guys, everything at the start of this video not to talk, not down about it, but basically almost make excuses for how I thought it was going to run. Um, and basically talk about oh, how I'm going to change this, change that, all the stuff I've got to do, uh, even guys replacing the ESC, all that kind of stuff. And you know what? From probably the first maybe minute, two or three minutes of driving the truck, I was shocked. I was actually really friggin' impressed by how well this truck drives out of the box. And again, if the powdered metal throughout this truck holds up, and I don't have to buy upgraded ring and pinions, all that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, guys, this is this is going to be an insane, wickedly fun truck. Because I just got home, and I just want to go right back out with it. I want to change the spur. I want to get a different set of tires on it. And I want to hit it off that ramp again and see, guys, what I can do. See if with that little ramp, because it's now maybe a foot and a half off the ground, if I can pull a backflip, I just, it's a lot of fun. Um, holy crap, I'm a Traxxas fanboy right now. But yeah, guys, that's it. Um, I don't know what else to say. Very impressed, very happy. And if this truck guy stays the, together, if the metal doesn't let me down, and again, guys, that bent dry shaft, hey, we, I'm pretty sure I know when that happened. You guys probably do too. I came down really, really hard. The truck just went a little bit wonky in the air and I couldn't do anything about it. I couldn't recover it. It hit hard. The plastics themselves are all together. So that shows how much that flex because there's a lot of bend in that drive shaft. So things sure, you know, went bendy. Um, yeah. So yeah, there we go, guys. Um, very impressed, very happy, and very excited to straighten the drive shaft, change out the spur, try a different set of tires and get this truck out again. All right, this truck, guys, back out again because it was definitely, guys, a lot of fun. Uh, if you enjoyed my Glorify Traxxas Fanboy video, give me a big thumbs up. Please subscribe and have a great day.